I'm working on a new circuit for a uh, poor man's signal generator. And this will be the circuit that I want to publish within uh, two weeks or so, perhaps one week. And here you see the waveform that it generates. And the frequency 16.6 kilohertz. But the question is uh, all about the wiring. So the question in this video is, does the wiring have any substantial effect on the circuit? Well, that's a very interesting problem and it needs some explanation. You can see here all three wirings hanging around. And the circuit is of a A-stable multivibrator. And here also wiring hanging around. And that A-stable multivibrator had to work <coughs> between, say, um, 20 kilohertz and 1 megahertz. And I uh, succeeded by using two Typical high frequency transistors, the BF90 and the BF194, all old stock. And I want to publish this circuit within uh, a few weeks when it is all uh, in a perfect state. Anyway, here there is a potentiometer. I've connected to the um, A stable multivibrator, a field effect transistor circuit uh, to pick up the high frequencies here and then um, send that high frequencies to the field effect transistor gate and after that there is a source follower made with a uh, 1k resistor so we have a very low impedance output here uh, during the time <coughs> that um, this A stable multivibrator oscillates and I have used here a, a fine tuning potentiometer and a coarse tuning potentiometer. This is the fine tuning. And here the coarse tuning. I have to do that with one hand. So perhaps that's not very convincing but anyway the frequency goes up add up etc etc so 23 kilohertz now at the moment this is the waveform and the fine tuning gives this 20 and 23 kilohertz. Anyway, the whole circuit will work between these frequencies 21 kilohertz and approximately 1 megahertz. And I want to publish that in, uh, as I told, in a few days or a week or so. Anyway, the issue is the wiring. Here we have free hanging wiring and that doesn't play a role. When you want to develop 
an experimental circuit. Uh, of course, that all uh, is related to the lower high frequencies, say 1 MHz, or perhaps 2 or 3 MHz, then this, these long wirings don't play a substantial role. So you can freely, freely um, develop your circuits while soldering with, for instance, such a coarse soldering iron in the circuit. Uh, no problems at all. And, uh, of course, here no problems at all. Uh, but when it comes to, say, uh, 3 MHz or 4 MHz, the wiring gets more critical. Anyway, that's all uh, that I wanted to tell. Don't uh, make too much concerns when you want to develop an experimental circuit on the length of the wirings, of the wires, they doesn't matter as long as it is not a typical high frequency circuit working above say uh, 18 megahertz or so. Then the wiring becomes critical uh, Especially, for instance, such a small piece of wire can act as a coil. It has a certain inductance. From, the, from here to here it has inductance. But in this circuit the inductance is not visible on the oscilloscope. Almost no inductance here. And for instance, here we have the same A capacitor. The wire goes to the A stable multivibrator. The length of the wires is approximately 20 centimeters. And that means no problem at all. Here, 10 centimeters. So you can easily solder your experimental components on quite long wires outside of the electronic circuit, circuit that you want to use, especially oscillator circuits. And that's the issue here. Again, fine tuning, quite a good waveform for uh, experiments, etc between 23 and 